Hey guys, Caleb here at Unique Squared. Today we're gonna to be talking about the new Overbridge by Electron version 1.1. Uh, the new version that just came out uh, is we're actually got a brand new GUI. Uh, we've got a much tighter integration between the plugin and our Electron boxes themselves. We've actually come out with a new AU version to complement the VST version, and we've upgraded it to work with the latest OSX. Um, some of the new features we've got are Total Recall, which we'll talk a little bit about later, and we've also got a much tighter sync between the analog gear and your DAW. Let me give you a little bit of background. We um, the Electron boxes have always been for the guys who wanted to ditch the computer, get away from the DAW, and, and, and work outside the box, you know? And then on the flip side, you've got these guys and they're working in their DAWs with their big VST libraries that are really scared to leave the box. And these worlds have been getting farther and farther and farther apart. Well, now with Overbridge, these worlds have been bridged back together and the, they've really become one. You know, the guys working outside the box can now take advantage of these VST libraries and the guys working inside the box can now take advantage of this cool outboard gear. So we're about to dive in, take a look around and see what's new and exciting. So we've loaded up a blank instance of Ableton 9 suite and we're gonna go ahead and navigate to our plugin folder and select analog four in our case and drop it on a blank MIDI track. Now let's do some quick housekeeping here. We're gonna go to our device tab and make sure we have the correct device selected. Make sure you have the correct sequencer sync selected based off your personal preference. And make sure we're gonna to go to settings here. Make sure you have the correct buffer size that matches the buffer size in your DAW to give you that tight integration. Now. Let's take a look around in here. Those who are familiar with the Analog 4 are gonna see these tabs across the top. So we can go to the Kit tab here. We see our 10 performance controls. And if I turn a control on the controller, as you might imagine, it changes on screen, pretty cool. And vice versa, if I change it on screen, it's going to change here on the device. Awesome. Now we have the Analog 4 loaded up. So we have four track tabs across the top. All four are identical and each one is preloaded here with a kit I have loaded up. So we just go to track one here and let's play around and see what we've got. Got a cool saw sort of sound, awesome. Now, as you might imagine, I can go to oscillator one and I can change it on the device like you're used to doing and you can see it change on screen, pretty cool. As well as I can edit it on screen here which is where things start getting really fun. Awesome, right? So. Editing, creating, and saving patches in the Overbridge editor is far easier, far faster. If you're not used to working on this tiny little screen, if you don't know your way around the Electron device, the editor is gonna be your saving grace here. Those who are used to working inside of the box are gonna feel right at home. Now, those who are used to working on the Electron devices are gonna have a huge workflow enhancement. You know, you're, if you're used to creating patches here on the device, saving them, labeling them, tagging them inside of your DAW, saving it back on your Electron just become way easier and faster. You can do all that here in the sound browser. Here in the sound browser, you have for the Analog 4, you have your four tracks here across the top. We can sim simply drag and drop any sound onto any one of these tracks instead of using the browser inside the Electron. Um, here on the left-hand side, we have our sound pool with the top 128 sounds that you love to use. Now here on the right hand side, we have the plus drive with our full sound library. We have banks A through P here at our fingertips. And they've also, Electron's given us tagged browsing, which is great. So let's say I want to find myself uh, a kick drum. We'll go to kick here and we'll select whatever kick we like. Uh, let's say uh, this guy right here, drag it on to track three. Now I can select track three and hear that kick. Pretty sweet, right? Um, that's your sound browser, super easy, super straightforward. So what else can you do with Overbridge? Well, like I mentioned, we do have that tight integration. We are sending audio back and forth. We also are sending MIDI back and forth. What that means is, hang on, let's see. Um, what that means is we can, basically we can record the MIDI coming from the Analog 4 into our DAW. So let's try that real quick. So we'll say uh, MIDI from all ends. We'll go ahead and arm the track, our metronome is on, and I'll play something really quick and easy. Cool, now we can look at that, and we have, obviously we've recorded MIDI, pretty awesome. Now, because we are working in our DAW, we can quantize these things, we can edit them, move them around, do whatever we like. Now that we've got our MIDI track, we can send that MIDI back into the Analog 4, 
with whatever track we like. So before we were playing on the kick drum sound, I believe that's track three, so let's send it back to track three, so it sounds like, just like you might imagine. But if we wanted to, you know, we could send that to uh, track one. Let's see what that sounds like. Maybe send it to uh, track four. Oh, track four is crazy. Send it back to uh, track two. Cool, right? Super, super simple. Now, again, because we are working in our DAW, we could, uh, let's say, create a new MIDI track. And we could just write in whatever we like. Let's say, uh, let's write in a quick little pattern here. Make a little four bar loop. There we are. So now we've created ourselves a little four bar pattern that we could send to. And we can send that to whichever track of the Analog 4 we like. So let's send it to, uh, let's say, track 1. Cool, right? And because, again, we're working in our DAW, we can shift it all around, bring it up an octave, bring it down a couple octaves. Yeah, I like it there. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's, we could even, you know, because we are working in our DAW, we could, say, uh, maybe add a MIDI effect on top. So we put a little arpeggiator on here. Let's see what that sounds like. Cool, right? All kinds of fun things we can do. So we've recorded MIDI out of the Analog 4, sent it to the DAW. We've also recorded MIDI in the DAW, sent it back to the Analog 4. You could do this with any MIDI device you have, be it a keyboard, drum pad, whatever you like. Um, the one last thing I wanted to show you guys is because, again, we're working in our DAW, we can throw any sort of VST, AU plugin we like on top of these things. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop these clips right here. And I'm going to just fire off a kit that I've got loaded up here on the Analog 4, and I'm going to throw some stuff on top. So let's say uh, maybe we want to put a, well, I don't know, how about some overdrive? So turn that down, sorry guys, a little hot. And so now we've just got a whole new sonic palette that's never existed on the Analog 4. You know, before we had uh, very defined lines, we had guys working outside of the box on the Analog stuff. We had guys working inside the box, you know, in their DAWs, and the, those worlds were always very, very separate. And very clearly, these worlds have just completely collided recently, and the line between outside and inside the box are very much starting to blur. Uh, that's all I really wanted to show you guys. Let's take it back up top and wrap up the video. The very last thing I wanted to talk about was the recall feature that they've added in with the latest version of Overbridge. Let's say you're rocking with uh, the Analog 4 and a Rhythm and maybe an Analog Keys and you've got custom patches you've made on each one and they're all being linked together via Overbridge into your DAW. Now, when you save that project in your DAW, it's gonna, that preset that you've loaded for Overbridge is gonna save all the settings you've set up on all of your Electron devices and all of your routing. Now, what that means is when you send that project to say your buddy who's got the same gear that you do, you can load up the exact same patches and all the hard work you've set up is going to load up exactly the same as how you've configured it here. Um, it's a very, very cool feature and it makes you know, the, the electron world a lot wider and being able to pass this around so much easier. Um, it's, you know, the really cool thing here is that you've got guys that have been outside of the box for a really long time. You've got guys that have been inside of the box for a really long time. And those guys have always been very far apart from each other. And with Overbridge, we've just collided. We've brought it together. And it's just a really cool, exciting time to be involved with music. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope this quick tutorial of what Overbridge does and what it is and why it's cool was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please put those in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Check us out on Instagram. Um, we'd love to hear from you guys. This is Caleb with Unique Squared. Have a great day.